What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Taddy Collector and welcome to episode 5 of Taddy's Mailbox. So you ready? Let's go! Okay, YouTube, so we got our first package in from a subscriber, and this is actually from Austin Jones. He was the winner of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway contest, and he's like, hey, man, I got something I want to send you. So here it is, and we're going to dive in and take a look. So let's get to cutting. I have no clue what this is. But... There we go. And there is a note, so I'm going to read the note first. Read on video, please. If no, if not, no biggie. Ha ha. Cool. Hey, Tata Collector, I found this in a thrift store and said, I know someone that would want this. Uh, I know as a Batman fan, I didn't know if you had anything like this in your collection, but I hope you like it, and hopefully this gets read on your mail call video. Ha ha. Thanks, Austin. Austin, yes, most definitely. Anytime I get a note and I keep all of these, it's most definitely getting read. All right, so what do we got here? Ah, it's Batman related. Heck yeah. Very cool. Reusable drinkware, shark skins, Justice League. Very cool. I've never seen this before. Those are very cool. On the back it says, shark skins, the perfect pocket party for your favorite beverage. No metal parts, reusable, puncture resistant, freezable, leak proof, foldable, durable uniquely designed for all types of beverages so basically what this is they are reusable foldable foldable flasks um that's essentially what it looks like very cool i've never seen these thanks so much austin i really appreciate that very cool all right on to the next Okay, folks, we just got two more packages in, and uh, one, I know for sure what it is. The other one, I don't have a clue, but it is from a subscriber, and um, I was expecting something, but I just, I don't have a clue what it is. We'll go ahead and open the first one that I do know what it is. And I ordered this <laughs> probably two months ago, if not longer. But what we have is a... Watermelon Red expansion cover, memory expansion cover for my Watermelon Red N64. Let's see if they match perfectly. And yeah, they match pretty, pretty daggum good, pretty well. Color is a little bit off. It's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty spot on. I don't know if you could tell in the video. It could be just uh, that the top of this console is a little discolored. And this looks brand new. But that's what it looks like. So, right on. I'll take it. It costs like a dollar thirty shipped from China, and uh, so yeah, not too bad at all. All right, on to the subscriber package, and I'm sitting here trying to feel around, trying to find a good place to cut this open. It does say fragile on it, and this is from David, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce your last name, Rothgary, David Rothgary from Georgia. All right, let's go ahead and cut this open. Let 
And take a look on the inside. Let's see. There's a card. It says, here you go. We'll go ahead and read that first. It says, way to go. This calls for a high five. Nice job on reaching 1,000. Yeah. Surf Blue. Surf Blue is his um, YouTube handle, his YouTube uh, ID. Surf Blue, how do you like the toys? Here's my address, David Rothgary. I hope we can trade again or something. On to the next. Indeed, on to the next. And there is a money order in here. He sent for a uh, Game Gear game that I recently picked up. But we'll go ahead and there's quite a few items in here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Little DC Comics Batman. Very awesome. And what do we got here? We've got another one. Very cool. Thank you, David. And what else? There's a couple more things in here. Three more things. All right. Then we've got another Batman. Very cool. And then on to the next, we've got another Batman. This is really cool. I've never seen this suit before. Yeah, I've never seen that suit ever. That is very cool. And last but not least, we've got another Batman. This is a, it's like a Christian Bale Batman. And, um, let's take a look at that. That is modeled after the Christian Bale Batman from uh, Batman Begins, the uh, Christopher Nolan series. Very cool. Thank you, David. Awesome. I really appreciate the Batman toys. Um, thank you very much. All right, folks. On to the next. Okay, and now we've got not one, but two more packages to go through. And we'll go ahead and dive on into the first one. Now, I do have a good idea what this is. This is from Joanna Schrader from Michigan. And she is in a uh, video game hunters and collectors Facebook group that I'm a part of. She hit me up and said, hey, I've got some loose cartridges. And you are more than welcome to have them. Just let me know what your address is and I'll ship them out to you. I said, fantastic. I think she's got a little OCD about uh, collecting uh, loose cartridges, but unfortunately I don't, or fortunately I don't. So I said, here's my address, go ahead and ship them away. And uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, so these are all N64 games. Now I know that there's five out of here that I'm going to be able to keep and add to my collection. There are two that are duplicates for me and um so i'll be bundling those with the n64 for sale so first off we've got world driver championship and that's added to my collection also to my collection is star wars episode one racer another one in my collection is the gray cart variant of turok 2 very awesome. And uh, a duplicate is WrestleMania 2000, so that's going to be bundled. Then we got some that are individually wrapped here. We've got Top Gear Rally. That's going into the collection. And... Another duplicate 
that will be bundled is GoldenEye 007. And one last one. <laughs> We've got Clay Fighter's Sculptor's Cut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Zelda Ocarina of Time. Player's Choice Edition. Very nice. So that's going into the collection as well. Joanna, thank you very, very much. You are so awesome for sending those to me for free. All right, let's get on to the next package. All right, and the next one is from Chris Moore from AR. That's, uh, what, Arkansas or Arizona? I want to say Arkansas. Um... I've gotten no clue what this is. Uh, if he messaged me, he's, his name is definitely not Chris Moore from any of the messages I've received. I do apologize. It is now officially raining. So if you hear any rain in the background, I'm sorry about that. All right. I definitely got to get a knife. I definitely need like a box cutter okay what is in this huge box oh right there on top we got a note so let's read that first tatted thank you so much for help and advice it's paying off money 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 haha -ha. nothing special in the box hopefully something in there you will like there's a broken Zelda advanced game in there. Cart is trash, but board should be fine. Good hunting, and on to the next. Relentless Haggler, that's who that is. Okay, yes, I didn't recognize your name, but I definitely recognize your, uh, your screen name there, Relentless Haggler. Okay, let's see what we got. We've got a whole bunch of newspaper and some bags and all right so first thing here is <laughs> that's pretty cool very cool we've got a Star Wars Darth Vader bag pouch of some sort here um, it's vinyl like pleather and uh, it's brand new, it still has the tag on it from Loungefly. And it's just like a little bag. That's very neat. Very neat. I do love Star Wars. Thank you very much. Then, let's see what we got here. Oh, cool. We've got. A Robin figure let's see if there's a date on here there is this is from 1993 so this should be around the age of um, the adventures of Batman and Robin if I'm not mistaken very cool and there's some more filler oh, so we got another I've never seen this one this is a uh, another Batman figure. Well, it's got some kind of something on the back here. Looks like a like a bear trap almost. Very cool. It is. Yeah. You press the button and the bear trap closes. Very cool. I have never seen this figure. Um, let's see if I can find a date on him. And I don't see one right. Oh, there it is. It's on the back. Okay. Uh, there is not a date. That is very odd. It does say um, trademark DC Comics, but there's no date. So. And there's no date on the on the back side of this either. Very odd. Um, most figurines have dates on them. And um, but still very cool. Thank you very much. Alright, what else we have in here? 
Oh, this thing's full of stuff. We got some more paper. Okay, this is... It's like it might, might have been a McDonald's toy. It is from um, The Adventures of Batman and Robin, so that's around the early 90s. And it is a... A Batmobile. You can really start to hear the rain come down now. So I apologize. If it's not a train, it's rain. There's always something in the background. Okay, and then we've got... What is this? This is cool. Oh, I see what it is. Very cool. Okay, so this is an official Nintendo straw. But it's got this Mario mustache that you connect to the straw up here on the curved end. And so when you're drinking it, it gives you the Mario mustache. That is very cool. I don't know if you can see this picture right here. But that's what it's supposed to look like. So when you're sitting there drinking from it, it gives you the Mario mustache. Very cool. Very, very cool. And that came from um, Cool Kids Combos. That's Carl's Jr. So that's Hardy's. Cardi, uh, Carl's Jr. slash Hardy's toy. That is very cool. I've never seen that before. Relentless Haggler, you have hooked it up, man. What we got here? Oh, this is cool. I've only seen this one time and it was not sealed new in package. This is a Batman Beyond Burger King toy um, from around 2000. And there's the Batman Beyond. That is very cool. Thank you so much. All right, what else is in here? <laughs> Very, very awesome. We've got a Batman Pez dispenser. Very cool. And it's still brand new sealed. Um, Got to be gentle with it because it is starting to peel right there on the side. But majority of it is sealed around, around the cardboard. So thank you very much. I'll be sure to take care of that. And then we've got <laughs> we got a Yoshi figure. You press a little button on top and his tongue sticks out. That is very neat. Try to see if you can see that. Very cool. Then I'm sure what this is. Okay, so this is the I'm assuming this is the Zelda GBA game that he said was broken. It is the... Oh, yeah. That case has definitely seen better days. But he did say that the board was still good. Alright. So, let's see if you can see this. So, this case is just trashed. But the board inside is still good. Um, the only thing that I can see to do maybe is find a donor cartridge, take a hair dryer and see if we can get this label peeled up and then replaced. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that, but... If any of you guys have any suggestions on what to do with this, please let me know. I mean, it's a Zelda game. The board, he said, is still good, so it should still play. Um, but what would you what would you do? Well, would you try to remove this label and put it on a donor cartridge, or I don't know. You tell me. All right, then we've got. Tasmania Game Gear game. Very cool. And... Let's see. There is another... Uh, Riddler Pez Dispenser. 
very cool. And then we've got two Batman games. We got Batman Arkham Asylum on the 360. It is complete with manual and disc looks to be in pretty good shape. There's a few light scratches, but nothing that suggests that that won't play. So very cool. And the Game of the Year edition, Batman Arkham City on the PS3. And it is complete. Very cool. I mean, you made this whole thing Batman thing, didn't you? All right, and then there's one last big item in here. I was saving this for last. This is Batman vs. Superman, The Dark Knight, The Man of Steel, The Ultimate Face-Off. And it looks like some sort of... Oh, shoot. It's full of stuff. Okay, well... I didn't, I didn't realize it was, <laughs> it was going to be... Okay, so it's like a little... Like a folder... Very cool. I've never seen this before. But then, inside, there's all sorts of goodies on the inside. So let's let's take a look. First off, we've got Micro Comic Fun Packs, Transformers, collect all four comic books, Transformers Drift. Each pack includes one micro comic, one micro poster, one tattoo, and one sticker sheet. Very cool. Then we've got another one. So the first one was Drift. I don't know if you can see that. And the second one is Optimus Prime. Very awesome. There's uh, some more games in here. Okay, we've got Fable 3. Let's see the condition on that. Very clean. There's a few surface scratches. Nothing that suggested would not play. And on the other side, there is 99 Nights. And it's, it's scratched. So I'm not sure on that one. Then we have Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. And it looks like it could use a resurfacing as well. And then we've got... The Gotham Guardian. Batman vs. Superman. The Last Son of Krypton. Something. Let's find out what this is. I've got no clue. Alright, so this... Oh, yeah. Let's see. It's like a before and after, maybe? No clue what this is. And then we've got this, and this is a sticker album. Very cool. All right, and then we've got Link's crossbow training on the Wii. And, I mean, it's near flawless. But, to, but believe it or not, I did not have this in my Wii collection. Did not have that. So that is very awesome to, to get a copy of that, especially in such good shape. And folks, that's it. That's all she wrote. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you would like to send me anything, the P.O. Box information is down in the description. Um, I've had a fantastic day so far, 
and I hope you have as well. If you have not subscribed to the channel, by all means, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that little bell icon next to it. When you do, you're going to receive a notification every single time I upload new content. Once again, the P.O. box is down in the description below if you would ever like to send me anything or work out a trade. Folks, I hope you've had a great day. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.